Hi everyone, continuing with the uh, another flavor of DHCP. Um, what we did is we in branch one we did just the DHCP normal one, but we have a concept called DHCP relay agent. So we want to know what is DHCP relay agent. To be honest, uh, if you want to understand it, just the we will use the DHCP relay agent when the DHCP server is not the same device of where our subnets are reside. It means, like in headquarter here, I have my subnet, the service VLANs here, and this. Yes, of course, I can do a DCP server uh, on multi-layer switch, doesn't matter, but this is not our scope. I will try to make this router a DCP server. Keep in mind that this router does not own does not have the service subnets that we have VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So here, the multi-layer switch will act as DCP relay agent. The traffic will come. The DCP discover message will come. Then this SVI will tell him, okay, uh, I'm not the DCP server. So, but I know who's your DCP server and it will send the traffic to this one. Then this one will release the IP address. So this concept called DCP relay agent. So let us see how we can start with the configuration. <coughs> Sorry. Now this router actually has two interfaces. Okay, so DCP will be applying to, I will tell you uh, how. And also because we have a redundancy, also whatever configuration we are done here, so you have to do it here as well. So let me take this uh, the the router one and and do terminal monitor to not bother with logs. First of all, <clears throat> we have to enable DCP. So DCP enable. Fine. Now create the pool IP pool VLAN ten network. 192.168.10.0 mask, we did this before in the previous video, and the mask is 24. Gateway, I have to specify the gateway, 192.168.10.1. Uh, you can put DNS, doesn't matter, 8.8.8.8, .8 and that's it. Okay, first of all, I will do it for first VLAN, and we will see. Great. So we did the pool. And after that, I have to go to inside the interface, this one, G001 and G002. So interface, G0 slash 0 slash 1. Okay. And here, what I have to tell it is DHCP global. Um, DCP, sorry, select global that I'm selected from the global pool. Okay, fine. So this is for the DCP server. Now I will go here in the core switch. And inside the interface, interface VLAN, 10, DCP relay agent, um, there is no agent, DCP, okay, select, sorry, DCP select, yes, DCP select relay, okay, please enable DCP in a global, yes, this is what we forget DHCP enable and interface VLAN 10 DHCP select relay and DHCP relay server IP. What is the IP address of the server? So here it will be the inside interface for G001. 
or we can um, we can put it. Let's put the virtual IP and we'll try it. One nine two dot one six eight dot one fifty dot one. So let's try now uh, to take IP address for this VLAN. IP config. Um, it took 10, no DNS, no, actually apply. I did not do apply. IP config. Yes, great. Then I took this IP address from it. So the traffic goes out and it comes back to me. Yeah. Let's also inside. So here I'm inside the uh, interface VLAN 10. So display this. This is the whole configuration that we have. This is, we added GCP select relay. Of course, you have to make sure that you have a connectivity between these two. And we did this in previous video. If you did not watch it, you have to watch it back. Uh, and I will mention what these are, what, what are these connectivity, like the routing. Okay, we we added DCP select relay and DCP relay server. So if I said DCP relay server, again, and I said 160, and display this, here I mentioned two DCP relay server. It means if this one is not active, then I can take it from another one. But here also, I have to go inside interface G0 slash 0 slash 2, the inside of the interface of the router, this one, display this. Okay, don't forget that we have in subnet 160. This is also from previous videos. So DCP, uh, no. So it would be uh, DHCP select global, just only this is what I want to know. Okay, to make it for the redundancy. The same we'll do it here. Now, just let me finalize the pools that I have. Again, IP pool, VLAN 20, it will be network 192.168.20, mask 24, gateway list 192.168.20.1, DNS, let's say 8.8.4.4, and say to see that. Okay, go. Fine. So in, in core switch now, I have to go to the interface VLAN uh, F20, TCP, DCP relay agent. A relay what about the command DCP select relay sorry select relay it means that I'm the relay agent and DCP relay server IP 192.168.150.1 the virtual IP address of the VRRP of the interface inside in the uh, router one and router two and also 160 and sake for the redundancy. Whatever configuration we did in the core one and core switch one, we have to do it in the core switch two. And the router one, we have to do it in the router two. I will leave it for you guys to use your mind and to think about it. It's the same. Um, now, just let me, let me capture. Why not to have some capture? Okay, great. Let me go for this DHCP apply. Then here, yeah, just let me stop it. So here I send the discover message as a broadcast. And then the 150 <laughs> one reply to me and give me this IP address. Um and after that I request it and Acknowledge from the server. Why the 151, 
replied to me not the 160 because it's the active router. Here, if I go to display VRRP, here the master for 150. And here, for, here the master actually. And regarding the 02, also it's a master. And this one is backup, it doesn't have any configuration. Display VRRP. But these are the backup. So it will take from the master. Great. If I want to do it like this here in this computer, it will, um, let me see, DCP, apply, IP config. So it give me the 253 and 888. And also this one, DCP, apply. And also give me the, uh, yeah, the DNS 8844. Okay, this one, I use it 8888. Great. It's working perfectly. So this is all about the GCP relay agent. Please do not forget to uh, apply whatever configuration we did in the router one to the router two and the core one to the core two. Thank you very much.